N.T. Wright would say, here's how we know who belongs to the covenant people. We don't ask the question, do they keep Sabbath? We don't ask the question, are they circumcised? We don't ask the question, do you eat the proper foods? We simply ask, do you believe in Messiah Jesus? All those who believe in Messiah Jesus belong to the community. Notice too that it most definitely is not an answer to the question, how do you get saved? It's rather the answer to the question, how do you know who belongs to the covenant people? And uh, then he sums it up in the next slide, uh, right on the, yeah, right at the bottom there. Paul declares that faith and faith alone is the true badge of covenant membership. There is no road into covenant membership on the grounds of Jew Jewish racial privilege. <laughs> Do you remember too how E.P. Sanders said that staying in was by works, you get in the covenant by grace, but now you stay in by what you do, by living a good life? If we look at the next slide, we will see that it could possibly be that N.T. Wright seems to use similar language to this. There's both a present justification and a future justification. Present justification declares on the basis of faith what future justification will affirm publicly on the basis of the entire life. Now I'm not exactly sure if I understand him here. <laughs> So I'm not saying he's saying the same thing as Sanders. All I'm saying is it makes me scratch my head and say, I don't think I would say it that way. <laughs> I'm sure you may have many questions on what they teach, the new perspective on Paul, but now we're done with that for now. Okay. Now a Lutheran evaluation. First of all, I think it's important to understand what our own confessions say. Especially when it says, any teacher has to be made subject to the scriptures. Now, 
When we say Scripture alone establishes doctrine, we mean Scripture alone, not the Pseudotegrapha, not the Dead Sea Scrolls, not uh, even the Jewish writings that are contemporary from that time. I'm not saying those writings should not be studied. They should be studied. But they always must be studied underneath the scripture and evaluated by what scriptures alone say. When you even put them on the same level so that you use the one to come up with an interpretation of the other, rather than to let the scriptures stand over this, then you are confusing the two. Furthermore, many scholars have pointed out that they do not believe that the new perspective people even correctly interpret the ancient literature outside the scripture. So, scripture alone and the new perspective, extra biblical materials, historical reconstructions, and contemporary concerns cannot be placed on the same level as, as the scriptures much less rule over them as interpretive lens. All I'm saying is don't put any idea on the same level as scripture. That's what I'm saying. What makes it even more strange to me, uh, next slide I think, what, what makes it even more strange to me is that they will, cut, they will refuse to look at the Gospels they won't look at Ephesians and First and and, and uh, Second Timothy, but they will look at the Dead Sea Scrolls. Furthermore, as Rabbi Rabbi Neusner points out. If they were really looking at sources, they should have looked at the Old Testament scriptures as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Israel in the exile. Okay. Let's look at misleading parallels. Uh, Rabbi Neusner evaluate Sanders' pattern of religion idea this way. Professor Neusner argues that the Mishnah is silent not because, as Sanders believed, they assumed a covenant of grace, but because the Mishnah didn't want to talk about that. Nice Furthermore, I think when he says that Sanders has taken categories and put them on the ancient texts from his own mind, 
he's really saying that Sanders is doing the same thing that Luther was supposed to have done by coming up with concerns about salvation. Uh, is that is that does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. 咁啊，即係我哋知道咧，佢哋對路德嘅批判咧，就係誒馬丁路德啊，或者改革教會咧，就係將個十六世紀嘅概念咧，就放咗第一世紀。咁咧就誒 ，Noisler 佢嗰個嘅回應。其實，如果你批評路德佢咁樣做係錯咧，其實你都係將你自己一啲嘅概念啊，對宗教嘅概念，就讀入咗去聖經嗰度嚟。呢啲嘅概念咧，你你相信係從其他嘅資料攞翻嚟嘅。你攞呢個嘅第一世紀嘅拉美文學嘅概念，而你又相信呢個咧就係指導你去理解聖經嗰個嘅概念。咁你同馬丁路德，如果喺本質上係犯咗同一樣嘅錯。Let's look again at Ephesians 2:8 and 9. 嗱，我哋睇睇《以弗所書》八章九，第二章八至九節呢一個嘅例子。Now, what Professor Dunn said is that if Ephesians 2 was genuine, 嗱，咁我哋又瞭解個背景咧，就係啊，首先阿丹咧，佢就唔承認咧，啊，《以弗所書》咧係出自保羅嘅。嗱，你記啊，佢唔承認係出自保羅。Which he doesn't believe is true. 咁所以佢就唔覺得所講嘅內容咧係啊係啱嘅。But if it was genuine, 好啦，咁如果係真嘅咧 ，then it does seem that Ephesians is talking about works of any kind versus grace. 咁因為咧，嗱，嗱，我哋記得二章八至九節講咩㗎？嗱，得嘅係本福音啦，即係話保羅咧，佢喺度討論緊恩典同埋嗰個嘅行為咧，兩者咧係對立嘅。咁即係話，如果呢一段經文真係喺聖經裏邊咧，咁阿登就不能夠不承認咧。保羅佢涉及嘅咧，就真係律法同埋恩典之間嗰個嘅對立面啦。Not just Sabbath keeping, not just kosher laws, all works。咁所以咧，如果呢段經文啊，即係而家想你點明白？真係係誒保羅所寫而又列入聖經嘅話咧，咁佢就必須要承認咧，保羅呢度所講嘅律法咧，就唔單止係頭先講嗰啲嘅割禮啊等等，而係廣泛泛指一啲所有嘅行為。律法你都要守啦，即係你你都唔可以摒棄啦。So let's say then, just for the sake of argument, I agree that Ephesians was not written by Paul. 好咁嗱，所以我哋又做個假設咯。我跟翻阿登嗰個嘅思路，好我就先假設《以弗所書》二章八節九節真係唔係保羅寫嘅。I don't believe that, but let's just say. 啊，我要講明啦，就係我我哋唔信嘅，不過又假設真係唔係保羅寫嘅。Even if it isn't written by Paul, it's very, very early. 咁咧就即係話呢一個概念啊，即係話律法同埋恩典之間嗰個對立呢個概念啦。就算唔係保羅講嘅，都係一個第一世紀嘅人講嘅，係咪先 ？Certainly, first century. Oh, okay, yeah. So you have them. A disciple of Paul, someone trying to interpret Paul, very early, misunderstanding Paul, the same way Luther did. 咁嗱，我就假設呢一節經文咧係保羅後即係一啲嘅 friend fans 寫嘅，咁嘅 fans 咧就理解保羅係咁咯。我我又當呢個理解係錯，咁但係呢一個嘅錯誤咧係反映咗當時嘅人係真係有咁諗啊，唔係淨係馬丁路德係咁諗啊，即係話。律法同埋恩典嗰個對立啊，呢一個咁嘅諗法，唔係馬丁佬諗出嚟嘅。咁起碼當時人係咁諗啊。就算你話唔係保羅都好。So apparently Luther misunderstood Paul because Paul wrote in a very obscure way, and so did Ephesians, the writer to Ephesians. And we needed people like Sanders, Dunn, and Wright to finally explain to us. What the real interpretation was. 好啦，咁即係話咧，誒，咁我哋即係咁樣嘅理解咧，即係話誒，馬丁路德又搞錯，保羅嗰個 fans 又搞錯，即係話佢哋誤解咗保羅嘅意思啊！保羅唔係講緊恩典同埋善功嗰個對立，係後來啲人誤解啫。如果呢個誤解係真係存在嘅話，而竟然要由一啲即係後來嘅學者咧。啊！透過其他嘅文獻咧，嚟到去重新佢即係回復佢嗰個真面目。咁呢個諗法都幾得意嘅。So far on scripture alone。咁咧，我哋用呢一個嘅唯獨聖經咧，即係嚟到去回應點解呢一種咁樣嘅進路嘅誒建構嗰個嘅
新堂嗰個嘅問題出喺邊度啦 ？By the test of Scripture alone, the new perspective does not pass。咁所以如果我哋用呢一個嘅唯獨聖經嚟到去檢視呢一種咁樣學説嘅話咧，咁你係見到係站唔住腳嘅。Now what about grace and faith alone？ 好，咁我哋就睇下，即係我哋用唯獨恩典啦嚟到去回應。First of all, I think it's important to understand that confessional Lutherans, true confessional Lutherans, have never believed that Jews at Jesus' time were all legalistic. 其實咧，我哋從來冇話過咧，喺當時耶穌嘅年代咧，猶太教所有啊，即係你知道每一個宗教裏邊都有好多唔同嘅派別嘅。我哋從來冇宣稱過所有嘅猶太教徒咧都係律法主義。There were the Simeons, the Annas, the Elizabeths. There were the Nathaniels waiting for the Messiah to come. 咁喺聖經裏邊咧，我哋見到咧有好多唔同嘅人品啊，就好似其中一個譬如西面啊咁樣啊。咁你都係見到咧，佢哋都係等候一個嘅尼賽人嘅光啊。So I've never believed that the true teaching of the Old Testament was ever legalistic. 咁咧就所以從呢度嚟講咧，即係話當時嘅相當嘅猶太人咧，佢都係期待住呢一個嘅尼賽亞，咁唔係話純粹一種嘅律法主義。Secondly, when they say that Luther was opposing a religion that was completely work righteous, they misunderstand Catholicism. 咁咧，其實即係當誒呢啲嘅學者咧，佢就話啦，即係反對路德，其實路德好似係反對嗰一種嘅即係誒律法主義嘅話咧，其實佢亦都唔係最瞭解，同時就瞭解路德佢所講嘅。All Catholics that I know of, including Saint Thomas. Don Scotus, all the medieval Catholics, all taught that you needed grace to get to heaven. 嗱，咁我哋知道馬丁路德就喺誒羅馬天主教裏邊係改革過嚟啦。咁但係唔代表咧，馬丁路德係係指責羅馬天主教裏邊冇恩典嘅教義㗎。啊，因為羅馬天主教裏邊都的確係有恩典嘅教導。So when Luther said grace alone, he meant grace alone. Not works plus grace. 咁所以咧，我哋講喺呢個恩啊，唯獨恩典嘅時候咧，其實個意思咧就係話，我哋反對嘅係將恩典混合咗喺呢一個嘅律法裏邊。So it seems to me that they, at the very least, distort the historical record of what Luther was doing in his day. 咁所以其實呢一啲人對誒路德嗰個批評咧，其實因為本身係出自佢哋唔太瞭解路德，佢當時或者路德要去反對嘅真正問題喺邊度 ？Next slide. We might just compare this to what Sanders and Wright have said: that staying in is a matter of works, and Wright future justification on the basis of a faithful life. 咁咧，其實咧就係我哋會。見到咧就係啊，如果我哋用翻阿 Sanders 同埋 Wright 嗰個嘅講法咧，其實我哋就見到佢哋個問題咧就出咗喺點樣將恩典同埋律法撈埋一齊啦。就譬如喺 Sanders 嗰個嘅啊宗教嗰個嘅模式裏邊嗰個嘅講法裏邊咧，其實你能夠停留喺嗰度，其實你都係搞事啦。就係頭先講過咩將來嗰個義裏邊咧，你而家得到嘅義，但係你將來要實現咧，都係在乎你點樣去守住。嗰、那個嘅啊，即係嗰個即係作為一個中心嘅信徒呢一部分。This is not grace alone。咁你見到其實佢哋講嘅就正係嗰個問題啦，就係唔係唯獨恩典啦。This in fact is good Catholic teaching。咁其實佢哋嘅教導咧幾鬼似啊幾似啊神似呢個嘅天主教。Many Catholics at the time of the Reformation would agree with this。咁可能咧即係當時嘅天主教讀到 Sanders 嘅講法嘅時候，覺得啊啊都幾啱啊。啊，我哋都係咁睇喎。Grace plus works equals no grace。咁但係個問題就係恩典加上律法嘅嗰律嗰恩典就已經唔再恩典啦。If I may paraphrase Sanders here， 咁如果我咧係即係引譯啊 Sanders 嗰個嘅講法咧 ，He could be saying you get your start by grace and by grace alone。咁咧，你就話即係可能佢個意思佢都會咁講嘅，就係、是、你能夠進入咧起始點咧，就真係為恩典嘅。But you reach your goal by works。但係咧，你能夠得到最後嗰達到最後嘅目的咧，就要靠你嘅善行啦。
compare that with what the Apostle Paul says in Galatians. Paul is struggling with a congregation that is starting to go back to thinking that works bring you closer to God or keep you closer to God. He's using very strong language. You foolish Galatians. It's like someone practiced sorcery on you. When I came to you, I preached, I drew you a picture of Jesus Christ crucified in front of you. So how did you receive the Spirit? By doing what the law said you should do? Or by simply hearing and believing the message of Jesus and what he had done for you? You notice how Paul says it's either but notice he's not done yet. He's reminding them of how they got their start. Now he goes on to say, now how do you expect to reach your goal? You got your start with the Spirit. That worked through Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Are you now going to reach your goal by your sarks, by your human effort? So when we say grace alone, we mean grace at the beginning, grace in the middle, grace to the end. Yes, grace must transform us. And it will. But at the end of my life, and it's getting closer. <laughs> I'm going to plead Jesus Christ alone and what he has done for me. I look at my life and I see every single thing has been filled with sin, even the best things I have done. Jesus and only Jesus by grace alone. Or take the case of Abraham and David. In Romans chapter 4, Paul brings up the question of is it faith or works? And by the way, notice he's not talking about communities, he's talking about two individuals. Abraham had his personal struggles. He faced the fact that his body was as good as dead and, and Sarah was barren. And David, what good works did he have? Not good ones, at least, when he says Psalm 32. He can only plead for God's forgiveness. 
So, what do the scriptures say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. So, now, to the one who works, wages are not credited as a gift, but as an obligation. If I'm working hard, 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, I don't consider as working hard in Hong Kong. Sorry. 80 hours a week. I should stop being such a lazy whisperer. So if I'm working 80 hours a week, I don't want my boss to come to me at the end of the week and say, here's a gift for you. No, he owes that to me. I worked. And that's the point Paul is making. But if you say faith is credited, you say it's a gift. And if that was at all unclear, he goes on to say, simply trusting in God who justifies not the pretty good, not those who really try hard, not those who are doing their best, but the ungodly. And David says the same thing. So the simple gospel is that Luther got it right. The real problem is sin. Paul spends three chapters talking about that. It is very hard for me to understand how anyone could say that Paul is just making up a problem. When I get to heaven, I will then ask the Apostle Paul if I did not read him right. And I'm going to say to him, why in all the world did you waste so many words in making up a problem? If it was not, in fact, the thing that separated me from God. Therefore, the only solution is, as Paul also says, the atoning sacrifice of Jesus in our place. Works are excluded, it's received by faith, and by faith alone. And I believe this is worth remembering in the year fifth, the 500th anniversary of Luther's birth, or, or, or the Reformation, excuse me. Without the article of justification, there is no gospel and there is no church. I admire and respect the scholarship of these men. I believe that they have done us a service in, first of all, teaching us to look at the historical sources. I would also say that they have done the church service 
in asking important questions. 咁佢亦都係誒誒為教會係提出一啲咧好重要嘅問題。Sometimes it's very boring to me to read theologians. 你知啦，讀呢啲乜神學著作有時真係好鬼悶。Because they ask questions that aren't important. 咁有時聽上嚟嗰啲問題咧，即係佢提出嘅問題好似冇咩重要性咁樣嘅。At least they ask important questions. 但係起碼有啲時候佢哋問嘅問題咧，即係都係幾重要嘅。But I disagree with their interpretation of the ancient sources. 只係對佢哋嗰個嘅理解，特別係初期誒教會嗰啲其他文獻嘅理解咧，有啲。I do not agree with their perspective on Paul. I 相信咧佢對保羅嘅理解係錯嘅。But far more important than that, I believe that God doesn't agree with it. 咁啊，最重要就係我拉拉下係上帝認同呢啲教義。Because the plain and simple Scripture by which we live does not teach what they teach. 因為咧，我我哋即係嗰個聖經最直接，亦都係我哋。即係最單純嗰個嘅理解同埋解釋咧，誒，我哋冇得出咁嘅結論。And because this is such an important teaching， 咁由於一陣清義係嘅教義係咁重要咧 ，I believe it is something that we need to struggle against in the church。咁所以呢個係我哋教會要去努力去增加回應嘅問題。To praise the new perspective。Is to say the same thing as one foolish statement of someone who might praise a typhoon that has just caused great destruction in Hong Kong and China. 即係如果我哋即係要啊講一啲好説話，即係為呢啲咁嘅學説要去講啲好説話嘅咧，有啲咁困難，就好似你要去讚美一個咧係帶嚟破壞嘅颱風，你點用咩言辭去讚美佢咧？ It would be like a man looking at all the damage caused by the typhoon and saying, "Well, at least we got some rain." So I feel pretty strongly about this. So, when we 回应呢一个嘅题目嘅时候咧，我哋都非常之强硬。